beautifuls, how are you? I am really excited to be here today with a Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all are doing fantastic, having a really great day, great night, whatever time you're watching this video. And yes, um, I haven't been able to get to Dollar Tree all that often, but you guys, when I do, I have been just like, so impressed with the things I found. So I, yeah, I am so excited to get into this and show you guys some of these like crazy good finds that Dollar Tree has been having. So I'm wondering if, you know, that has to do with the 25 cent increase, if they're able to just get even more fantastic things in the store. Um, if that's the case, then I think like, okay, that 25 cents was worth it because as you're going to see some really, really great finds. So stick around. If you like these types of videos, please give this a thumbs up. And if you have not done so yet, please subscribe. I am really close to 6,000 subscribers. So once I hit that mark, I will be having a super fantastic extra special giveaway just to say thank you and show my love back to, back to you guys. Um, all right. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's get into this. Um, most of you have probably seen from other people's videos that uh, Dollar Tree has all that seashore uh, decor going on right now. And I decided I had to have this cute little bucket. I love seahorses. Um, I think I fell in love with them when I went to Chicago. Well, I've been to Chicago a couple times. I went to, they have an amazing aquarium there called Sheds Aquarium, S-H-E-D-D-S. -E Look it up, check it out. If you're ever in the Chicago area, you have to go there. It's a, a beautiful aquarium, but they have, or they had, at least when I was there, like, my gosh, probably 20 years ago was the last time I was there. Um, they had a seahorse section in the aquarium and they're just amazing. So many different kinds of seahorses, so many different sizes, but yeah, I think I fell in love with them there. And so I had to have this cute little bucket. They had another one with, I think a crab, um, make sure you stick till stick around till the end of the video because I do have some in-store footage that I'll share with you of so many other things that I would have loved to have bought, but yeah, I passed, passed up on those. Um, if you saw, it wasn't my last, I think it was the last Dollar Tree haul. I found the bucket like this, but it's the taller, skinnier bucket. Well, I was really happy to find the shorter, bigger bucket. These are just so, so beautiful. I love these so much. Uh, so I just got one. I was good. And I picked up some more seeds. Their seeds are always for, for a dollar. So this is what I got. I got some of the, what kind of peppers? Serrano chili peppers. And I'm so excited to start planting and getting the garden going. I, I am just so excited. Um, some summer squash, zucchini, actually dark green zucchini and some cucumbers. These are like the smaller kind. So I'm pretty excited to hopefully, I tried planting those last year and they didn't do too well. Actually, they were bigger cucumbers. So I am going to just switch up the setup. I need to make something that these plants can actually climb up. So we'll see how that goes this year and if that helps get a better yield on the cucumbers. Um, and then I just got some of these really pretty poppy flowers. They're California poppies. Picked up a couple candles. I'm pretty sure I have footage of the other candles. I think so. But these are the ones that I had to have. This was a new scent to me. And it's uh, Summer Seas. And these are my favorite from the Dollar Tree. Oh, it matches my nail polish. Um, these are my favorite, the ones that come in these little mason jars. They usually have decent throw if you have them in a smaller room. And this just smells amazing. This smells so good. So I got two. Oh, no, actually, they are different. This one is the Summer Seas. And then this one here, pretty colors. I love it. This one is the Aquamarine. 
And this one, just another really clean. This one's more of a manly type of scent, but I love it so much. And something more random. Um, I love how they've had like really cool items in the like cake decorating section. So they had this cake decorating tool set and it is a three piece set. And this is what it comes with. And these types of things can be expensive in the regular stores. And what is Dollar Tree haul without some amazing food finds? So yes, I do have some here. And I also got this bag. This bag is heavy right now, but they have the cute little gnome bag for Memorial Day or 4th of July. And it's a really big one. I love these kind of bags, so I had to get it. Um, all right, so this is going to go in the pantry. I'll probably make these over the summer. So that's something we've been doing really good with not having like junk, <laughs> um, staying on track, sticking to low carb, sugar free, nothing bad. So this is definitely bad, but I'll probably do this just as a treat for other people if we have like a barbecue something like that going on over the summer but for a dollar 25 I can't pass that up it, these are like three to four dollars I just saw them in our local I think Kroger and Meyer, and they were three to four dollars for a box of these so these are the no bake bites cookie dough and it's in the lemon flavor sounds so delicious I thought this was a really good find because dates can be pretty expensive. These are by the brand Mariani and this is, I think it's a three ounce package. You can probably see it better, better than I can right now. So yeah, it's a three ounce package and these are whole dates. So I picked up two of those. I like dates. Um, just needed some paper plates. So they changed up the design of their like regular paper plates that they always have. Um, these are 14 count. And then I had to get these. I thought these were so, so pretty. There's 12 plates here. And yeah, I, I will figure out a good use for these. If I'm able to, my, my niece Olivia, who you guys have met several times doing videos with me, she's actually getting married uh, in October. And, but she's also moving to Arkansas, and I don't know what her exact timeline is. It keeps changing, so I'm hoping that I'm able to have a little shower here for her. Just It's going to be a really small shower with just our family, which is really small, and some of her closest friends. But I thought, how pretty would this be for a little summer bridal brunch shower so yeah I had to get a pack of those I probably should I probably should have got two packs of those but oh well at least I have one pack um so Dollar Tree I mean this big old bottle of margarita mix <laughs> this is by the brand is Zing Zang and this is a name brand you guys I passed this up the past couple times I was at Dollar Tree um, because I just wasn't sure what it, like what this brand was, but then I ended up seeing it. Um, I want to say I was watching some Instagram recipes. I'm not sure, but I was like, okay, so this is a, a brand that people really like to use. It says it's the award-winning margarita mix. This is a huge bottle. It's a 32 fluid ounce bottle. Um, no, it does not have the alcohol inside, but still for $1.25, I was like, yeah, summer's coming up, and I'm pretty sure I will enjoy a margarita. Um, this was new to me at Dollar Tree, and this was just some, like, shelf-stable, these don't have to be refrigerated, tofu. So I just grabbed one package. Matt has never had tofu, so I wanted to try it out and let him try it out and see how he likes it. This is the firm kind of tofu, and it is a 12.3 ounce um, box of that. There's a lot going on here. Oh, and just some 
pretty napkins. These actually do go with those plates I just showed you. Um, they match like the flowers that are on the truck there. So this is a package of 18 napkins. Oh, what do I want to do? So more brand name cereal. That's an, this is another thing that we can't have, but eventually, um, I'm sure once in a while I'm going to be having a bowl of cereal because I love cereal and it's been months now since we've had cereal. But even if I don't eat this, um, when I buy cereal, Lily comes here every other weekend and she likes having cereal sometimes when she's here. So this is Kashi, which, you know, it's an expensive brand and it's honey toasted organic oat cereal. And this is a 12 ounce box. And then they had this Frosted Flakes with Crispy crispy Cinnamon Basketballs. Never seen it before, but okay, for $1.25. It's a 10.2 ounce box. I like keeping bouillon on hand for just different things to add flavor. Um, I think this is a good thing to keep in an emergency pantry. I really like these ones by Leaping Leopard because they are like the loose bouillon so you can scoop out as much as you need. And these can be like the scoopable type of bouillon can be really pricey in the regular store. And it says it makes, I can't read it. And you guys, I can't see that small with out my glasses so that's how big it is and I picked this up in the vegetable and the beef I already have the chicken down in my emergency pantry so that's why I just opted to get those two flavors I thought these were a pretty cool find um, these are bigger than the ones that I've bought in the regular stores and it is a hundred percent lemon these are also made by leaping leopard and it is six or eight fluid ounces. <laughs> Again, let's see, let me just bring it up here. There you go, eight fluid ounces. So they had both the lime and the lemon, obviously. And then they had a bunch of energy drinks, zero carb energy drinks. Matt is the one who likes these. I don't like these, I feel like they I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack when I drink one of these, um, but he likes them. So I like finding them at Dollar Tree because these can be pretty expensive in the regular store. So they had this liquid nitro. Um, this particular one is zero carb and I don't know what the flavor, I don't know if it, what the actual flavor of it is. Um, I don't know. And then they also had that same brand, Liquid Nitro, in Tropical Storm. There we go. And then they had the Bang Energy Drinks. These are expensive. Last summer, when they had, they had like three or four flavors um, last summer, and I was stocking up like a dozen at a time for the hubby this time they only had one flavor but it was root beer blaze and matt really likes this he said it smells more like root beer than it tastes like root beer but to him it tasted like um like cream soda and it's either zero carb or one carb these are zero carb so i grabbed a few of those and then they had these accelerator drinks. These ones are one carb and they had it in orange mango. And they had it in this island guava and they also had it in cherry limeade. So if you know anyone who likes energy drinks, those are a great price at $1.25 to stock up on them. All right. Uh, the next thing I found was this really cute little butterfly bag. It's like a nylon 
type of bag. It does have a zipper. <clears throat> it does have a really long handle so you can wear it kind of like a crossbody. So I thought this would be good just to be able to carry, you know, very essential things. We're actually going to be going to Frankenmuth, Michigan um, later this week. Uh, to kind of celebrate my birthday and then Lily's birthday is May 10th. Mine's May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And Lily's is May 10th. So we're hoping to meet up with um, my older stepdaughter, uh, Lily's sister, and hoping that we all can go to Frankenmuth, Michigan. If you've never heard of Frankenmuth, Michigan, it's very a uh, well-known spot in Michigan and in other places. But they're best known because they are a German town and they have a store called Bronner's. And Bronner's is like a all year long Christmas store. It's an amazing, amazing store. They only close like three days out of the year. Um, Christmas, I think Easter, and I don't remember the other day. Or maybe they only close for two days out of the year. I'm not sure, but it's a good time there. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. And I thought this would be perfect to just be able to put like um, my ID and just car keys, whatever, tissue. Yeah, so really, really cute. And I showed you the gnome red, white, and blue bag. They have had some really cute bags and I can't pass, when I see these, I can't pass them up because we do use these for um, like when we go to Aldi or when we go and do like shop and scan at certain stores, these bags come in handy. But you guys look at, first of all, this bag is beautiful. I love it again with the teal red or the teal red truck, the teal truck, the beautiful flowers, the beautiful butterfly. But it is huge. I really prefer these. I don't know if they're not, I guess like they're plasticky feeling, I guess. I like them because they're easy if you need to, if like something spills, say you're carrying like meat in here or something and something kind of leaks out. Um, it's really easy to wipe these down with disinfectant and clean them out, but it's just beautiful. This bag is beautiful. It's got the B on there. And yeah, love it. And then I had to get this one too. Another really big, beautiful bag. Perfect for summer. This one's just pink on the sides. And I think those are the only bags I got. Um, some red, white, and blue decor. Of course, I had to get me some Nomi's. So they, I think they also had this like blue truck. And different gnomes that weren't sparkly. I was just kind of like, why would I get the gnomes that aren't sparkly? Sparkle makes everything better. And then they had the dish towel. It is a microfiber dish towel, but really, really super cute. And I couldn't believe it because I have never found gnomes, like the stuffed gnomes. In the past few years, I've looked for the Christmas ones, the Valentine's ones. I've never ever found the gnomes myself, but lo and behold, there were two little gnomes that looked so lonely sitting on a shelf, and I found them. There were only two, so you know I had to grab two of them. And look at, they match my hair. You guys, did you notice my hair? I'm sure you noticed. Um, let me know how you like it. And if you don't like it, don't be mean. Um, don't. Just don't. <laughs> but I like it. It's not exactly what I was going for. I was actually going for brighter all the way. But because my hair had some dark to it, um, that's not how it worked out. But now I'm thinking, well, the, I actually, I really like this. I really like it. And Matt really likes it. And... I've been wanting to do my hair all red for a long time. I was always so scared of how it would turn out, but I'm really, really happy that I did it. And I'll probably stay red forever. Forever. 
Um, I thought these were a really, really fabulous find. They have these waterproof mobile phone um, cases. So these are the two I got. One of them is like puffy air filled. Let me open it up. So this would actually float in the pool because it is a phone floaty. And it has a little lanyard for it. And um, I'm not quite sure. It has like these little tabs that you open up. And then this opens up here. And there you go. You put your phone in, close all the tabs back up, and you're good to go. Our, I know our phones are um, water waterproof up to a certain depth, but I still don't want to take the chance of it dropping down in the pool. And so I would feel better just having something around it. Usually I just put it in a Ziploc bag, but how these are so much cuter than a Ziploc bag. So I got this one. Like I said, that one's more of a floaty and then this one is just flat, but it works the same exact way. And they're pretty big. We have a Samsung Note 20 Ultras, something like that. So they're pretty big phones and long and these definitely have plenty of room for those. Maybe not inside the uh, case, um, especially if your case is kind of bulky, but you know, to take it out of the case and put it in something protected, you know, it's not a big deal. And what else? They had, these were over by the register. It's just a little card game. It's called Unscrabble, Unscrabble, Unscramble the Babble. There's what it looks like. And it says, these frantic phonetics will make you babble along as you try to sound out the sentences without melting your brain or twisting your tongue. From just trying to describe this to you and tell you what it is, I can already tell I'm going to lose this game, but it's okay. Do you have what it takes to unscramble the babble? So I thought that might be a fun little game to try out. And they had these. You guys, these are amazing for $1.25. First of all, they're Kleenex, their name brand. Second of all, there are 10 of them in here and they are really 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 pretty ones they're like rose gold um let's see let me open this up okay so they're they all look like this they're either this like rose gold kind of tinted one or this grayish beige kind of one but how nice are those for a dollar twenty-five for Kleenex? So yeah, I had I got one of those. Should have got two. But story of my life. I'm trying to be good when I go there. I'm trying. And next on the agenda from the summertime seashore collection. Um, this is going to be kind of noisy. They had these little um, garden stakes. So they're all the same. I got all the same. And it's this really cute fish with a little gem eyeball and some seashells. Just the pointy garden stake. And I got several of these because I thought these would look really cute around the pool. Um, we have some Lario monkey grass that we're trying to get to grow out around the border of the pool and I thought these would just be really cute around the border. So yeah, I got those. Oh, so and then of course I couldn't pass up this adorable gnome sign that says welcome. They also had one that looked very similar and it said summer on it, but I got the welcome. And next, um, 
They have these really cute stickers. I had to get them just because they're like little barn animal stickers. Yeah, I know. But there's 48 of them on there, and I just think they're cute. So I got them. Um, when I saw these, I I don't even know what. Um, this is the weird one of the weirdest things I've probably ever seen. But they are the world's largest, largest car air fresheners. Okay? Look at how big these are, you guys. They're huge. And y'all know, I got a big head. Um, but, yeah, I had to get them. Um, they're probably illegal to hang because they're so big. But I just couldn't pass them up. They're, they were just the weirdest thing. So they had it in the scent Ocean. They had the new car scents, and then they had it in fresh linen. Um, they ha they also had it in a vanilla scent, but I do not care for like vanilla scented air freshener, so I left that one alone, but crazy, crazy, crazy air fresheners. Um, I won't show you them all, but some Mother's Day cards, if you don't know, Dollar Tree still has their Hallmark cards. Some are two for a dollar. Some are a dollar. Either way, they're cheaper than any other store you could possibly get them at. And they have beautiful cards. Don't ever go to any other store to buy greeting cards. You have to get them from the Dollar Tree. Um, some other stickers that I got. thought these were just really, really pretty. And they're kind of like the raised. I don't know if you can tell raised kind of stickers that I don't know you probably use for like scrapbooking they're marked as paper crafts but I just really thought they were pretty I love the font on them I love the sayings and the way they look um this is kind of random but I thought these were kind of a good thing to have around the house and it's just a four pack of these crazy kinds of tweezers these are over in the like tool section and not much more to say about that um they had some cute notebooks they had the style of notebook last year and i just really really like these i think these make such a nice gift they definitely look like they cost more than $1.25 they're a nice like hardcover binder they have the pen on there and then when you open it up it has like the long notepad and then a couple of smaller notepads in there so really cute with the lemons and then they also had this one with the bee on it really cute again it has the pen and then this is what the notes inside look like um they had some really cute hair accessories going on. I grabbed this one here. I knew I was going to be doing my hair red. I just thought I just thought this would be a really cute vintagey look to go with the red hair and just thought that was really cute. And then they had I have not seen any cookbooks for months and months really long time I don't know what's going on they'll probably all just start showing up again but they did have some new books just nothing I was super interested in but I thought this one was pretty interesting so this is what it looks like it's called Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children I believe this was a book that was also made into a movie but this is actually a journal so this is what it looks like and then when you open it up, there's some random, like, little things from the movie. But for the most part, it's just, like, line journal. So I thought even if somebody did wasn't quite into this particular movie, it's still a really nice journal. The binding on it is really, really nice. So I grabbed a couple of those. I don't know. If Lily might be interested in one of them for journaling. 
Um, okay, where are we going to go? So this is kind of random. I didn't expect to see this there. So this is a pediatric stethoscope, you guys. And this is not a toy. This is actually made by Cardinal Health. When I worked at the ho a hospital, a, a lot of their items were Cardinal from Cardinal Health. And yeah, it's exactly what it says it is. I'm sure that if a hospital is buying these, they're paying more than a dollar twenty-five. They're probably paying like forty dollars for one of these, even though it's a children's or pediatric stethoscope. It, I'm sure it can still be used. I want to just check it out. Actually, I still have my stethoscope for when I was doing um, a med medical assisting in Rochester, New York. But it's very, very sensitive and really great quality really great quality stethoscope. So I did grab a couple of these. I thought these would be a great thing to keep in um, an emergency first aid kit. So yeah, I, I just was really surprised. I did not Google it to see how much a Cardinal Health stethoscope goes for, but I know that, like I said, when I was doing um, medical assisting in Rochester, New York, um, the stethoscope that I had cost like 70 or $80. So stethoscopes can be really expensive. So why not at least have something? Um, I do prefer manual blood pressure taking. Um, so I, you need a stethoscope in order to do that. And anyways, enough about that. On and on and on about the stuff. stuff. I can't talk today stethoscope so i was down in the like laundry section and where they have brooms and dusters and things like that and i've never seen this this is a cobweb duster that's what they're calling it i will show you cobweb duster so this is what it looks like and kind of looks like a toilet brush too but i thought you know, now's a good time to start cleaning out some cobwebs. Um, we have a finished basement, but we do get cobwebs, as I'm sure everybody else does. So, just needed something to kind of clean those out. And, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I got some nails. These are Dollar Tree nails. And... I found these ones. These are by B Color, which is kind of like a new Dollar Tree brand that's been coming coming around. And I thought these were a really pretty color. They're like a matte pink. They're pretty long. So I will probably trim them down because I don't like my nails super long. But um, these are the coffin shape and there's 12 of them in here. I always get two packs of the same nail just to make sure I have enough nails to cover, you know, I don't know. A lot of times these don't all fit like one pack is just not suitable to fit all my nails um, because I might need the same size nails for three different fingernails and you only get like two each. So yeah, I always get two and regardless to pay two fifty for nails and Dollar Tree nails usually stay on for me for at least a week. I think that's like a pretty cheap uh little DIY manicure going on there. And let's see, they had this magnet. They had a couple different versions of this, but I thought this was kind of cool with the Wi-Fi chalkboard on here so you can put your Wi-Fi password. Okay, what else here? We needed some more toothbrushes. I always keep a stash of them um, down in our storage room and we actually ran out of them. So they had, these are both medium. Um, usually it's kind of hard to find the medium at Dollar Tree. Usually when they have the name brand toothbrushes, they're either in the um, stiff or hard bristle. I don't know what they call them, which 
those I cannot use those those are awful they're like too hard for me or they have the soft but the medium which I think everybody generally kind of likes um, they don't usually have in the name brand but they did have these placards toothbrushes and toothbrushes are so ridiculous ridiculously overpriced even in like Walmart and stuff so yeah for a dollar 25 for two name brand toothbrushes that's a great deal so I did get um, these placards ones and then I got a set of the close-up toothbrushes they had these bags of hauls um, there's like three smaller packages in this bag. There's a total of 24 drops. So in each little bag, so it's like a little purse sized bag of hauls. Um, there's eight drops in each baggie. So I thought that was kind of cool to have like three separate little baggies. So I don't have to open a whole package. Um, I can just open like one small one at a time. And yeah, so got one of those thought these were pretty cool and I want to try these out. The this is by B Pure as well. These are concentrated facial facial serum and they're like these little pods that you individually open up. And there are 10 of those in there. Um uh, what else? They had some of this Freeman hydrating cactus and cloudberry water gel masks these are leave-on masks and it says instantly refreshes brightens for nourished skin so a nice size tube of that it's a six fluid ounce tube of that it says it's for all skin types um they had these two-in-one shower and bath bombs so you can either use them in the shower, or actually this one here is a bath bomb, and the one on top's a shower bomb. This is made by Peyton, um, Halu by Peyton. So I don't know who she is, um, I'm not sure, but this is not like a Dollar Tree brand. These are really like nice quality. So this would definitely be nice if you're putting together a Mother's Day gift basket for your mother, sister, daughter, whoever, friend. Um, this would be a really, really nice addition to that for sure. Whenever Dollar Tree has the Temptations, I always pick them up. Um, I haven't seen these two flavors in a while. So this one here is the mix-ups. And then this one is like the tuna, I think. Um, tuna flavor. So two more for the kitties. They have these super cute barrettes, you guys. Look at how cute these are. Okay, I might have to put one of these on. So they had this one here. It says kiss. The other one says baby. And I just thought these were really, really adorable. So how can I put this on? I just want to try it out. It's so 90s. They're really, they're kind of heavy. But here we go. Like how 90s Donna Martin is that? Totally, totally. And I like that they're the jaw clips, so you can just slide it right into your hair. So yeah. We'll just keep it there. Why not? And I have a couple more bags to go. Um, another kind of long video. So I needed some wipes for my laptop and they has they had these iJoy electronic wipes. They're isopropyl alcohol, 70%. There are 50 wipes in each box. Am I reading that right? Yes, 50 wipes in each box. And um, And I just wanna look, so now that I'm looking, I mean, I'm pretty sure these are just regular alcohol wipes. The same type of wipes that you would use to 
clean up before you had to like take your insulin shot or something like that. So, hmm, that's kind of weird. I don't know if there's other ingredients in here that are making it electronic wipes, but still 50 of them for $1.25, that's still a good deal. And I can like pop a few in my um, laptop case to have on hand if I need, you know, a quick wet, quick laptop wipe down. So yeah. Okay. So let me get some of this stuff cleared up and we will move on to the next bags. All right. So last three bags, um, they had these soft scrub duo cubes. These are safe for septic tanks, toilet components, cleans and freshens with every flush, hygienic clean, continuously cleans, non-stop freshness. And this is in the scent Sapphire Waters or the color Sapphire Waters. But here are the cubes and I've never seen these before so I thought that we would give those a try. And then they had this here by Carbona. Carbona. Um, this is extra strength bioenzyme formula. It gets out stains, stain wizard, pre-wash stain remover. So I thought that was pretty cool. Give that a try. This is like some name brand stuff. And it is, I don't know how big, it's not a huge bottle, um, but why not try it out? doesn't smell like anything in particular it has like a scrubby type of top to it so you can scrub that right into the stain so I thought that was a pretty cool thing to have so I did grab a couple of those and they've had some new like body wash type of stuff coming out um, this is like a Dollar Tree brand, I believe. I don't know if it's carried. I think I might have seen this brand in Five Below as well. But usually they have this EAD as like um, perfumes and colognes. But they had these body washes. They had three different scents. I smelled all of them. And I'll show you what the other scents are at the end of this video. Um... But this is the only one that I thought smelled good. This was the Love You Late Crazy. And I don't know. You know, I don't know if this is going to be. Um, I'm really picky about my body wash. So I don't like body washes that feel really like gloopy. And that don't get sudsy. I like more of a creamy sudsy type of body wash so I'm not sure a lot of times at Dollar Tree the off brand or the Dollar Tree brand of body washes I don't like those because they're that gloopy type of type of body wash that's the only way I know how to describe it but this does smell really good and I'm hoping it's the creamy soapy kind because that's a good deal for body wash so I got that and then they had this is a name brand I looked it up I googled it while I was in Dollar Tree to see what was going on with this and it did come up on like Walmart's website for I want to say like $6.99 or $7.99 they had some other scents this is um, bubble bath this one the one I like the other two I didn't care for the scents this is the one I liked the most and this is uplift and it's bergamot and sage and it does smell really, really nice. I think, uh, I think this just smells amazing. And this is a really nice size bottle. This is um, a 34 fluid ounce bottle of that. And then I got some of this VO5 dry scalp moisturizing conditioner, five vitamin formula right here. And Usually I don't like VO5 um, shampoos and conditioners. Definitely, I can't use that conditioner. It does not work with my hair. Um, my hair gets very tangled and I need a conditioner that really helps detangle so when I get out of the shower I can brush through it. And VO5, 
mm -mm, just doesn't do that for me but I thought this would be a good thing to have around because sometimes over the summer um, my scalp gets dry from being in the pool and things like that so I'll give that a try and see how that goes and then they had um, this pure silk which they usually do have these cans of pure silk shave cream but this one is like a really big bottle it is um, it says 30% more this is for dry skin vitamin E complex and this one is a 9.5 ounce can of it so usually the ones at Dollar Tree are about that big this one is like the full size that you would find at Walmart or whatnot and then I thought this was interesting so Dollar Tree is coming out with their own version I think that's what this is I don't know maybe it's a name brand and I just don't know but um this is like a knockoff of Axe body spray or whatnot. And let's see how it smells. It actually smells pretty nice. I think they had a couple other scents. I think I only grabbed this one. I don't know for sure. Maybe this was the only one. But yeah, I think that's really nice. I think Matt will like that. And okay, so that's it for that bag. And all right, guys, we are finally at the last bag. Um, I, there might be a few of you that follow me on Instagram. I do not post on Instagram that much. I'm more of a fan on Instagram of other people um, than trying to use Instagram like to promote my YouTube. But sometimes I do go on there and just post quick clips or pictures of some of my Dollar Tree finds and so I did show this on Instagram but I just thought this was crazy I could not believe it when I saw these at Dollar Tree you guys these are a full pack of some men's draws okay there are four of them in here now they only had one size they had 2x they also had like little um like the little briefs, but they're not like the, they're like the bikini briefs, which you guys, I don't know. I don't know. Do dudes still wear bikini briefs like that? I, I've never known a dude in my personal life that wears like bikini brief men under, un, men's underwear. But anyways, that's aside from the point. If you do know somebody, they had four packs of, they had packs that had four pairs in there as well. I will show that at the end of the video, but I grabbed a couple of packs of these. Um, I don't know if they're going to fit Matt at this time, but he, well, they might. Um, you guys, he's down 30 pounds. I'm so jealous because I am like just at this halt. It's driving me crazy. I have stopped weighing myself because I do see like in my clothing and not to get too descriptive, but whatever. You guys are my family. I'll let you know that when I am looking in a mirror, I can tell that my fupa or, you know, my stomach apron is not hanging as low as it used to. <laughs> so, um, I know that like my body is changing. It's getting smaller, but the scale just is like being stupid and not reflecting that but he's at 30 pounds so congratulations hubby you're doing so well and yeah so I grabbed two of these if any of you guys work for any type of nonprofit, if you um, work for a church that you know get things together to give out to people who are in need or homeless people you guys how great would these packages be for a dollar twenty five to stock up on so many of these packages? I mean, that's just an amazing, amazing deal. So yeah, I grabbed two of those and I think I opened the other package. No, I guess I didn't open either one. So I will open one of them now so you guys can see fully what a pair of these looks like. Because not everything's always sized the same either. Not all 2Xs. <clears throat> not all 2Xs are the same. <clears throat> so, you know, these feel just as nice as a pair of Fruit of Looms. 
something like that. They have, you know, a little flap in the front. Actually, these are pretty, pretty nice quality. And they have a lot of stretch to them. Let's see. If they don't fit Matt, if they're too small for Matt, I actually have some pairs of these that like ended up being too small for Matt or whatever. And I like sleeping in these sometimes. They're just really, really comfortable. And yeah, so really amazing, fine, crazy Dollar Tree. Um, this is, I have a couple more clothing finds, but I forgot about this. Um, this is just a chamois type of towel. And I like that it comes in the little canister. Um, you can reuse this canister. And actually, I'm going to be reusing this canister for my pens that I use for homework. Um, and to be able to put this canister into my uh, laptop case, that way my pens, because I never put the caps on them. I, I like keeping the caps off so I can just grab. I use, I have about like 10 different colors that I use when I'm taking notes and stuff. I like my notes to be really colorful and all that. So anyhow, um, I will put them in here. But this chamois, I'm not going to take it out of here because I'm like, wow, maybe this is actually a chamois because I can feel in the packaging they have it damp and like with a real chamois, you would want it to be kind of moist, <laughs> moist. Why do I always feel weird, weird saying that word? But um, so that the chamois doesn't get too dried out and like crumble or rip. So, huh, I'm anxious to try this out. Um, I love washing the car. I love like just being in the driveway, getting out the pressure washer on a nice sunny day and washing the car. So that's why I got this. So we can try this out and see um, if it works pretty good because chamois can be really, really expensive. So yeah, random there. And then here are the last two items. They had some t-shirts and sleeveless type of shirts. So I got this for Matt. This is in a 2X. Again, I don't know. Usually I buy 3X for him, but with his weight loss, I'm thinking that this might work out well for him. But he likes wearing muscle shirts in the summertime. And I love him in muscle shirts, by the way, you guys. I do. I think my man is fine. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so for a dollar and is this, this is by Gildan, just like the underwear. Um, but Gildan is also the company that makes gold toe socks. So these are like really nice quality and I don't know if it doesn't fit him, I might wear it myself. It goes really great with my hair, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I just grabbed one of those and then the last thing was this polo this is also made by gildan i showed you in a different polo in my last dollar tree haul that i had got for matt that one was more of the typical polo type of material like that rough cotton this one is like a polyester blend i'm gonna guess yeah this one is a hundred percent polyester and i really liked the color of it it's just really nice like hunter army green type of color and did i tell you the size this one was 3x and matt already tried this on and i really like it on him um it was it's very flattering the way the material like lays on his him um he felt a little self-conscious because it was more fitting than shirts that he typically wears, but I thought it was really flattering the way this material laid on to his body. So yeah, for $1.25, again, some really great, great finds. Clothing finds, underwear, decor, all that kind of stuff. I am just so addicted to Dollar Tree. 
Um, it is like my adult playground. I can't get into too much trouble there it, with the pocketbook. I mean, yeah, it can add up, but it's still, if I were to walk into anywhere else like TJ Maxx or um, even Family Dollar or Target, I would be spending <laughs> way much more than I do at Dollar Tree. So yeah, it's my little fun time. You guys, I've been crazy, crazy, as I've told you before, with homework. Um, this is like my last, this is my finals week coming up. And I was hoping I would have a couple weeks off in between spring semester and summer semester. Only to find out, I only get a week. A week. So, it's going to be right back into it. More craziness. Um, that's why I just can't get the videos out like I used to, but... I'm trying to do what I can, you guys, because I miss you. I love it. I love talking to you guys. I love hearing from you guys. And I love showing you guys some of the stuff I'm excited to find at Dollar Tree. That's basically my fun time for the week. Um, aside from, like, hanging out at home, especially when it's nice out and we can hang out in the backyard. But um, usually I'll wake up, you know, first thing Friday morning and hit a couple Dollar Trees. I love it because it's a still a weekday. So getting to Dollar Tree at like 8 a.m., um, there's nobody there. I'm usually the only one there for at least a half hour. So it's just so nice and peaceful. And I can like really take my time and look for some hidden gems. And yeah, so that's just my fun time. Dollar Tree is my fun time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed sharing this fun time with me and I will try to get some more videos out to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for hanging with me and again make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Until next time my beautiful friends, stay safe and be blessed. Bye!
Thank you.